Taito announces mini arcade cabinet with rotating screen and trackball controller. So for those of you that aren't familiar with the um, Capcom one, or no, Namco, right? Nam what do you mean? The uh, Namcot? What are you talking Damn about? Damn it. Let me look it up. I want to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oop, damn it. The Namco Mini Arcade. Yeah. You, you, don't you mean the Neo Geo? No. D -d -d -d. Maybe it was a. Um... Yeah, maybe it was a. Maybe it was Capcom. I, I forget, man. I... Capcom's oh. releasing a Mini Arcade. Yeah, so they... Oh, okay, yeah, no, it's not theirs. Damn it. You know what? Give me one second. I'm going to go grab it right now. <laughs> I have it Whoa. over here. Just give me one Whoa, second. You are going hardcore on this. I know, I know. All right, everyone, I'm back. Okay, so my bad. I was talking about this, Sega. The <laughs> Sega... Um, the Astro City Mini. The Astro City Mini. So <laughs> if you look at this design, right? This design is pretty cool. And I actually, when I got this, I played it for a good week. It was... It was it played that week was obviously forgettable because <laughs> you don't remember what it was called. I know, I know. There's too much stuff in my brain when I do these shows. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this thing is very well designed, right? I really like it. Um, I actually bought the controller for it. So let's go back to the article. Um, as you can see here, it looks almost identical to the design, doesn't it? Yes. Um, now to be fair, these designs are based on the originals. So this is exactly what it looked like a long time ago. It was just much bigger. Um, so they took it a step further and they made the screen rotatable so you can play shooters. Like vertical shooters? Vertical shooters, yeah. And they have a controller with a trackball and a uh, dial. So for those of you that know, like the original Arkanoid games had a dial controller. <laughs> so Old AF. You, yeah. So you could move the... Um, your little paddle to the sides. Um, and then they have a joystick and a controller. I would not recommend buying these joysticks. They cost like, they cost over a hundred dollars. Um, the controllers are good enough. Uh, but here are the games, uh, Space Invaders, Lunar Rescue, Quicks, Elevator Action, uh, Shack and Pop, Bubble Bobble, Rastan Saga, Rainbow Islands Extra, New Zealand Story, Don Doko Don, Violence Fight, Kadash, that's actually a really good one, Liquid Kids, Metal Black, Kaiser Knuckle, uh, Strike Bowling, that might be where the ball one might be used, uh, Arkanoid, Plump Pop, Civilian, Camel Tree, and Arkanoid Returns. So, a lot of these games I've never played. I don't know about you. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, no, not really. Yeah. So this thing is going to retail for 170 The expansion controller is 110 That's insane. The extra arcade stick is 80 Okay, so the arcade stick is cheaper than the expansion controller. And the gamepad is 30 bucks. There's also a $450 limited bundle. That includes everything plus some extras like soundtrack CDs uh, and a $300 bundle that includes the arcade stick and the gamepad. So these things are very pricey. So what I would recommend is um, go and try these games out first. <laughs> um, you know, like just 
download an emulator or find like a Taito collection on a console and play the games first. Make sure you like the games first. Um, because if you don't like the games, there's no point in, in buying these because they're so pricey. This one, I happen to like the games because uh, Sega Astro, uh, Astro City Sega Astro City had really good games. Uh, this one actually has a really good version of Virtual Fighter on it that, <laughs> that actually plays in 720p, believe whoa, it or wait, not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Does it have rollback netcode? <laughs> no. It's only offline. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this one actually has much better games than that one. Uh, but Well, dang, dude, just sell it. <laughs> I know, I know. But but again, like if you were, if you didn't like these games, I wouldn't buy this because it, it's too pricey. Uh, we the, don't get the them. Astro City. Yeah, the Astro City. Astro City was like one forty. So we don't get these released in the U.S. So to import them here, you even have to pay markup. So I probably paid like one eighty just to get it here. So um, they're very pricey. Don't get them unless you like the games. Now, the Capcom one actually has really good games on it, but it only has, like, eight games on it. You know what I mean? They could have put a lot more on there. But it does have a lot of Mega Man games in there. So, yeah, those, these are cool. Um, they're really cool for collectors, but I'd like to see what hackers do because, like, the the ability to, like, flip the screen into a, into a vertical shooter screen Yes. Is actually really freaking cool. Um, yes. So I'd like to see some hackers maybe like hack into that one and then put like a bunch of like awesome, you know, cave games or something like that on it. Not, if it's strong enough to run them. I was about to say. Yeah. Um, that would be awesome. I, I don't know, man. I think Arkanoid <laughs> is, is where it's pushing its limit. Yeah. Um, okay. 